In this video, I'll show you the complete step-by-step -step process to create a small piece of furniture from this wood, which you can make for use in your home or to give as a gift and even to sell and make money from it. Hello, I'm Allison. Welcome to another video from the Wood Art Channel. I invite you to hit the like button. And if you're new here, know that new videos are posted weekly on this channel, always with content about creative woodworking. So, to make sure you don't miss the next posts, subscribe and turn on all notifications. For this project, I'll be using this pine board. It measures 257 millimeters wide and just over two meters long. Initially, I'll cut both sides on the bench saw, making it straight and 250 millimeters wide. The first cut will be made using this aluminum ruler as a guide. It will be screwed onto this side and will allow the f cut on this side to be perfect. I position the ruler so that it overlaps a few millimeters on this side. I'll put screws in the middle and at both ends. I adjusted the saw's ruler to 255 millimeters from the blade. Then I'll make the cut on this side. Then I'll remove this guide and adjust the measurement to 250 millimeters and make the cut on the other side. I'll place this cut piece against the ruler. Next, I'll cut the board into some pieces. The first one will be cut to 63 centimeters in length. I'll cut with a few extra millimeters to cut square on the other end. Now I'll cut two pieces with 25 centimeters. The next piece will be cut to 272 millimeters. The next one will be cut to 230. And the last one will be cut to 356 millimeters. Next, I'll run everything through the planer to standardize the thicknesses to 22 millimeters. In the next step, I'll make some markings, starting with this part that measures 272 millimeters. I've already set the square to the 3 centimeter or 30 millimeter mark, and I'll make the marking like this on both sides. On this end too. And this one too. Now I'll adjust to 11 millimeters, which is half the thickness of the piece, and make the marking in the opposite direction. I've gone back to the 3 centimeter mark, and I'll make the marking on this piece that measures 25 centimeters or 250 millimeters. The marking will be made on this side, and this one. I'll also mark with 11 millimeters in the opposite direction. Now I'll turn it over and repeat the same marking on these two points. I'll now mark this other part that measures 25 centimeters as well. 
The marking on this piece will be made only on one side. On this part measuring 63 centimeters or 630 millimeters, I'll mark 24 centimeters from one of the ends, like this and this. Again, with the square positioned at the 3 centimeter mark, I'll mark in the opposite direction too. On both sides, I'll mark again around 3 centimeters above this mark that was made and on the end too. Similarly, I'll do it on this other end. Here's the 3 centimeter mark on both sides, in the opposite direction marked with 11 millimeters. I've already positioned 8 centimeters on the square and I'll do it like this. The next marking will be made 9 centimeters or 90 millimeters below this. On both, I'll draw in the opposite direction with 11 millimeters. So, summarizing, we have two markings here, two here, two here in the center, and two on this side. At all these points, I'll drill using the hand drill and this 3 millimeter drill bit. The drilling part is 10 millimeters. After drilling, I'll sand everything using a 120 grit sandpaper. In the next step, the item will be assembled. I'll start with this part measuring 63 centimeters. I'll apply glue to this end. And here, the part measuring 272 millimeters will be attached. Um, I'll use this screw for fastening three and a half millimeters by 40 millimeters. With both parts well aligned on this side, I can now fasten. I'll turn it over and fasten at this point too. The next part to be used is this one that measures 23 centimeters. I'll apply glue here and here it will be attached like this. I aligned the parts very well and can now fasten. Before proceeding, it's always good to clean up the excess glue. Now the part to be used is this one of 25 centimeters that has holes on both sides. I'll leave this countersunk part facing up and use it like this. I'll apply glue here and here. It will be attached like this. Here I'll make a marking exactly 23 centimeters. I'll turn this part. I placed a clamp so that it stayed exactly in the necessary position. Now I can fasten it. The next piece to be used is this one measuring 356 millimeters. I'll apply glue here, and here, and it will be attached like this. The final part will be fixed like this. I'll apply glue here, and here. With an item fully assembled, I'll cover the drill holes and hide the screw heads. Using these 10 millimeter dowels, they were made from the same pine wood. I'll apply a bit of glue to the dowel, place it in the hole, clean off the excess glue, and trim the dowel with a Japanese saw to make it flush. I'll do the same work on the others as well. With all the holes covered, next, I'll sand everything again, to eliminate any remaining differences. Mm -hmm. 
Now with the router, sing this router bit for 30 millimeter corner rounding. I'll round off all the edges of the item, except on this part which will be the bottom, and this one which will be the base. I'll sand manually with a 220 grit sandpaper. Well, after hand sanding, I'll proceed with painting. For this, I'll use wood sealer, diluted and thinner. To give color to the item, I'll use this special brown dye. I'll apply it using this electric sprayer. For those of you who want to do great woodworking projects, I've left some links for excellent equipment and content that might be useful for you. Check out the video description and the first pinned comment. Alright folks, here's the finished project. It's a piece known as a side table, but it can also be used as a decorative wall niche. This item can be quite useful and pleasing to many people. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you won't miss the next videos. If you want to support the channel, share this video with friends. That will help me continue bringing more videos like this one for you. Tell me in the comments what you think of this project. I'll be happy to respond. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.